Okay. So, Makia, tell us what happened. As I was packing to go to college, I realized that I didn't have everything I needed. And I had a few balloons left over from my grandmother's birthday party. And I wrote a note to God and tied it to the three balloons, basically. When, when you released the balloons with the note on them, what did you think was going to happen? I didn't think nobody was going to pick it up, but I put my number on there just in case someone did. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> now, Jerome, two days later, you found these balloons. What, when you found the balloons, what ran through your mind? It was amazing about that because it still had enough helium in them to where it was, it was wet that day, and the balloons, the, the letter never touched the ground. Um, it was amazing. I was going through some dark things in my life. Uh, I'm, a ba I'm a minister, and I was battling some stuff. Yeah. My mom's taxes were behind on her house, and I only had $2,000 in the bank to my name, so I got it out and paid my mom taxes, and when I did, I only had $125 left. And lo and behold, his God shows up through her. And I was questioning <laughs> God, you know. Uh, you see what I got right here, don't you? <laughs> yeah. you, you I know, got 125 I got, left. I, I got 125 left. I'm working out of town and didn't know where my meals, next meal's gonna come from. So how far had the balloons travel to where you were when you found them? Uh, they traveled from Macon to Gray, Georgia. This is about 25 miles. Lo and behold, it landed in my hand, practically. I'm gonna read it. Wow. God, help me go to college. Makia. God, this is me again. Please help me get everything I need to leave on Wednesday. I love you, amen. Hmm. If found, please call. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> So, have, have the two of you stayed in touch? Yes, we talk yes. every day. Yes, she's... Every day? Yes. yes. She's like a, a daughter sent from God. Really? Yes. I take care of her. She need a laptop. I said, well, come to church with me Sunday. Show her mom, her, her, daughter, her uh, little brother, and her grandmom came, and uh, I had a laptop waiting on her. <laughs> really? It's crazy, man. It's, it's some good people in this world. I, I, you know, I don't care what the news say. You know, we, that little girl come out here running for water for kids in Africa. Wow. Who, who do that? How you send a note to God on the balloon? He don't let it touch the ground. Then he let a minister find it. <laughs> now, look, hit the cold part. He let find exactly who needed to find it. Cause now this ain't just turn out to be no refrigerator and comforter. No. Is your father in your life? No, sir. She needed a laptop. She needed a daddy. Yeah, I am. You got all that. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, Makia and Jerome, listen, we reached out to our friends at Bed Bath & Beyond. And they want to make sure that from now on, you got all the supplies you need for college. <laughs> That's why we're hooking you up with a $5,000 gift card. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's where you go. Thank you so much. Bet your dorm room be fly now. <laughs> Thank you, Makia and Jerome, for sharing your story. Great job, sir. Thank you, man. That's powerful. Congratulations. We'll be right back, y'all. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.